Sometimes we have things like countries and states that are tied down to specific boundaries. And so if you look up here in our dimensions, you'll notice that we have things like postal code, we have state, we have, if I scroll up here, you can see that we have city and country. These things have what looks like a little world by them to signify that these have sort of geographical regions that are tied to them. And so let's work with these. So maybe we want to be able to see how our sales are working by country. So what we could do is we could bring country down here. And uh, by bringing country down here, a couple of things happen. One is longitude and latitude are generated. So longitude is to the left to right. And of course, latitude is rows or up and down. What we really like to do is we'd like to be able to see what our sales are. So if we come down here to sales and add sales in, then what we can do is we can bring sales into the equation. And if we want to have sales be by size, we can uh, take sales and the sum of sales and put it there so that it will actually be shown by size. So what I did is I went ahead and created a, a map that has country in it. And if we scroll in so that we can see closer, then we can see the boundaries of these countries. And we can also see the sales. Now, this is helpful by, by aggregating per country. If we want to be more granular, we can. We can also bring state in. So if we bring state underneath country, then it breaks it out by state. And we can see where the most sales are happening here. We have California, we have New York, we have Washington State, and so forth, and Texas, uh, which are, seem to be the, the larger areas of sales here. And of course, we have various states in, in various locations. So that's helpful because we are using size as a visual way of seeing volume of sales. But we can also superimpose on this another dimension. If we want to be able to look at profit as well as sales, we can leave our sales, our sum of sales managed by size, and we can use color to be able to show our profits. So if we take profits in here and we drag it onto color, then what it does is it shows us down here from the, the least profitable to the most profitable. And it does not change the size, which was set by this operator right here, but what it does do is it shows us where we are the most profitable and least profitable by the intensity of the color, the dark greens being the most profitable, the dark reds being the least profitable, such as down here in Turkey and so forth. If you look now, we're seeing that we have very profitable regions and we have some states that are not profitable uh, in general.